Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unveiling Beauty. My name is Ammon Carver, and I will be your host today on this special episode. If you have never seen Unveiling Beauty, it is the place to be if you love beauty. It is where beauty professionals share ch tips and tricks with each other, and you have access to learn all about it. And this month in particular, because it's Black History Month, we are focusing on anything Black-owned brands, skin, hair, you name it. It's all about, you know, celebrating Black culture. And today is an episode called Protective Styles. Now, if you don't know what Protective Styles means, you will in a second. Um, but I want to talk, talk first about how today is a little bit special for me um, before we dive right into the episode. I'm in a photo studio. I've been on lockdown and I've been itching to get out and get my creative juices flowing. And I'm a hairdresser at heart. And right before this episode, I got to work on a model that has you know, type four hair, textured hair, and I got to create a transformation and really celebrate and put to work the, the texture journey that I've been on. I've been transparent about my texture journey. I didn't go to school learning about textured hair, but I'm committed to learning just like everybody else at Ulta Beauty, and we're gonna be on this journey together. And today is just like one step closer. I have this warm feeling in my heart because I just got done making an amazing, you know, work of art in hair. So I'm all jazzed up and now I'm here and it's just oozing out of me um, coming up for this episode. So protective styles coming up. We're going to get all into it. But before we dive in and I introduce our fabulous guests, I want to remind you guys that it's Monday night, but every Tuesday on Instagram, we will be announcing a winner for those of you who engage with us the most on this episode. Um, and this time, our winner is not only just going to get some random kind of fabulous products, they're always great, but there's some particularly something particularly special about the giveaway this time, because we have five pieces from Shea Moisture's newest collection, designed for wigs and weaves, which is not even available yet. It's not even available, and it's going to be coming to the winner of this episode very first before it's even available in stores. And our guest today is gonna to be giving you a little bit of preview about what those products are about. So with that, let's get right in and I will introduce our fabulous guests. First up, is a dear friend of mine. Her name is Nicole Dove. She's a regional education manager for us here at Ulta Beauty. Hi, Nicole, how are you? Hey, Ammon, I'm so excited to be here. Can't wait oh to get gosh, into it. So cute, I can't wait to hear what you have to say and what you're gonna share with all of us today. And then joining us today also is none other than Robin Michelle, who is a celebrity stylist, texture expert, and owner of The Wig House. She is joining us today on behalf of Shea Moisture. What's up, Robin? Hey, Ammon. Thank you for having <laughs> us. I must say, this is the best. I mean, I probably shouldn't say this, but this is the best looking crew we've ever had on. Uh, hey! On okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Before I get into any trouble by saying anything more like that, I just want to ask the two of you, and I'll start with Nicole, like, why are protective styles so important? You know, Emma, that is such a good question. Protective styles are so important because they go back to the beginning of the Black woman's journey, right? From cornrows and braids and all that. The most important thing that I could say about protective styles is the best way to tuck your hair away from any environmental damage. You don't have to worry about direct heat or straightening your hair and just jeopardizing your natural curl pattern. So protective styles are so important. I'm rocking one today myself. Um, but yeah, I just, there's so much to say, but most in all, your hair can grow, you're protecting it from all the things. So yeah, that's what's great about it. Right, right on, right on. Well, I'll let you get started because I know you're going to be demoing and sharing yeah. all kinds of good stuff for us. But I want to ask the same question of, of Robin also so that she can tell us why are protective styles so important? I think they're so important. Just like Nicole was saying that it gives you a break from uh, chemical from heat damage um, and then you know she discussed you know the more protective part of it I want to discuss the fun part of it this is not my hair color you understand so I woke up this morning and I said blonde and so I put on blonde that's the fun part that I get to choose hair color or hairstyles that might have 
um, permanently manipulated my hair in a way that, you know, may not be the best. And so I get to try out different things without damaging my hair. So ultimately, it's fun. A little style shifting without like ruining your hair, right? Right. I'm envious. I, I honestly, I, I say this all the time. I'm like, I'm gonna start playing around with like pieces and protective styles myself <laughs> just because I wanna like, I get so jealous. <laughs> Could you imagine though? I'm just like, I show up one day with like a full weave. Although I shouldn't say like, that, that's David Lopez on our pro team. He's like that all the time. <laughs> some days he's long hair, some days he's got his curly hair. I think I just wanna be, I wanna be able to change up my look and stuff just like that. Um, mm -hmm. So Robin, let me ask you, why is Shea Moisture wig and weave collection better than any of the alternative options that people have? That's, um, I love that question because when you think of Shea Moisture, I would say when I personally think of Shea Moisture, I think of the natural ingredients that they use, like the Shea Moisture, that is, I mean, it's rich. Um, aloe, if, if you, Think of tea tree. So that's what we know to use on our natural hair, but you're telling me they're pulling up for extensions. And that's important to me because now women are wearing more protective styles when it comes to wigs and weaves. There's more that is available to us. So the hair quality is better. So you wanna pull up on the hair quality with better quality products. That's how I believe um, Shea Moisture entered the chat. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, what are, are you going to be? What are you going to do to be demoing for us today? Because I want to give you time to get rocking your thing too. Because I can see Nicole's already like she's in it. Nicole's so what are ready. you going to be doing for us, Robin? I'm going to curl my protective style. Okay, cool, cool. So, why don't you get started? I'll let Nicole kind of talk to us about where she's at, and then we'll bounce back to you. Okay, perfect. All right. So, what I'm going to be doing, Emma, is one of my favorite protective styles. So I'm going to be doing a flexi rod set. What's amazing about this is that you can stretch your natural curl and enhance it depending upon the flexi rod size and you can create the curls you want. So I'm going to be using a standard orange one and you can find this at any hair store, any hair store near you. Um, so I've already started and what I did was I parted the hair in horseshoe shapings according to the head. So I did actually three subsections and I'm working now on this top section here. So what's really cool about this is that parts don't matter. We don't want uniformity. Just go in there and take about a one inch parting. And I use about the length of my finger from here to here. And I'll take one inch deep, one inch wide so that I can control what I'm putting on my rod. What I'm gonna be using today for product is um, I actually already kept it with Pureology, but they're leave-in. I love this product because it gives the hair stuff moisture and it detangles and it's just lightweight and doesn't build up. And what I'm going to be using for my setting is Design Essentials Naturals, Avocado, and Almond Mousse. With each section, you'll see as I'm going through, I'm going to apply the mousse directly to that section. And another cool thing when you're doing flexies is that you can change up your rod size. Depending on the rod size is going to determine how tight or loose your curls are. That's so, cool. So, yeah, so Nicole, you're, you're, so this is somebody who has naturally textured hair and yeah. you can adjust the texture. You can like, you can lengthen or, or I, I should say like widen the diameter of the curl just by changing the flexi rod size. Yeah, you can do it by changing the flexi size and also depending on how you wrap the hair on the rod. As long as this is, your hair can go to the length of this. If you want to separate it, spread out each time you wrap it. Um, or if you want a tight one, have the wrappings closer. Another hack that I like to do is take end wraps and smooth it throughout the hair all the way to the end so that it's not frizzy. So what I'm going to do is just go in and wrap up. And I'm gonna wrap this whole section with with some tension so that I can pull out the um, pull out the curl just a little bit and keep it smooth. So that's what you're I'm gonna give, be doing. Drop right the head. You're giving me PTSD with like perm wrapping from uh, from like <laughs> hair school. <laughs> From cosmetology, right? I mean, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, it no, it's a, it's a technique. Like, I think that's not the thing that I have learned on my texture journey is it's not necessarily the technique that's been some kind of like 
reinvention. It's just understanding where you're starting from. Like, mm -hmm. you know, talk to us about things like the, so are you starting with the hair wet or is the hair dry and then you're applying that product? Yes, good question. So of course you want to start with a nice clean palette. So I shampooed mine actually with whey products. I like their medium shampoo and their conditioner. It really cleans the hair, but it doesn't strip the hair of all its natural products. So the cool thing with me is as a stylist, I can use whatever products I want and love. And that's what you're gonna notice. I have um, different products from different lines because they all do different things for the hair. So yeah, I used whey, the medium shampoo and their conditioner, and I followed up with the Purology leave-in um, for to detangle the hair and provide some slick. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Or should I change my angle up a little bit? No, you, go, go ahead and wrap that one. And then I'm going to, I mean, she's whipping through it over there. So I'm mean, going to, I, I got to bring it to Robin right now. She's going to be about finished. So keep, keep rolling there, N Nicole, for a second. And I'm going to ask uh, uh, Robin to talk to me about how she's using that iron. And by the way, Robin, that's not your hair. You look, that is laid, <laughs> girl. That is laid. Well done. It's that's beautiful. melted. If it Talk wasn't, um, if it wasn't tacked down, I'd, I'd absolutely pull this thing up and show you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am curling her and you know, the wig wearers that are going to watch this will understand the lingo. We refer to them as her, <laughs> she, they have names. This might be my Ciara unit, I don't know. But I'm <laughs> curling her um, and what I'm doing, I'm just using a curling iron. I think this barrel is about um, uh, maybe an inch and a quarter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, I just, I'm using this, and so I kind of just like to do like a little beach effect, and I unravel it, and then I pull. Mm. Yeah. To, First of all, um, I love, do, do you mind if I keep asking you questions while you're kind of working through there? Uh, I, is that okay? Yes. Now, I've never did this before, so look, if you, if, if, if I go, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like you're been doing it every single day. No, it looks it looks awesome, and I think that the viewers are able to see the way that you're curling. But um, I think one of the things that you touched on that we talk about a lot is like the texture love language, right? It's like understanding um, a terminology and familiar words that that women with or women or men, you know, with textured hair or that are wearing like you know protective styles, how they're how they're referring to them like you know so i think that um like i don't know that uh, if i walked by you on the street i'm an experienced hairdresser i wouldn't be like oh yeah that girl's got a beautiful wig on like and that's the whole idea right you want it to be right. believable um but also i love the i love the little slang being able to refer to her you know and, <laughs> and, and give her a little name and stuff yes yes i have i mean I, I, one of the things I do, I do Moonlight as a, a wig designer. Um, and so I have a lot of hers. So I'll pull up as this and then like for dinner, I'm in like this huge Afro kinky. Yes. <laughs> style that's dark brown. So I just love the, the flexibility. And I love that um, now we have better options. See, before there weren't better options. Um, when I started, I actually started because my mom had unexplained hair loss. They could not figure it out. She went to the oh. dermatologist. Um, and so when we went to the bee supply store, there really wasn't anything that lived up to you know, what will really represent her. And so what I love is that in 2021, that has changed. That has changed. So not only has the quality changed, but then when Shea Moisture pulls up with a line specifically for wigs and weaves, to me, it's saying you get it. You see us. You see where we're yeah. trying to go. You're supporting our investment. You know? Yeah. So, so what is the... If there's one thing that you want our viewers to know about Shea Moisture, like what, what would that one thing be? Um, I mean, the first thing I would think to say is, is the ingredients, but I, I kind of feel like we know that. So I'll speak from my heart. Um, yeah. What I've always loved about Shea Moisture was their history. Um, and if, if some people don't know that the history is written on the back of every, every product. 
that is created and sold. Um, and so our founder, this is literally based on the back of his grandmother from Sierra Leone, who uh, was developing products with literal shea moisture, like shea butter. Um, awesome. And so it started with that. And so what I like is that the, the story is authentic. It's not like we're pulling up uh, uh, during Black History Month and trying to create a story. No, we are that story. Um, and then uh, this is what, what am I now on the second or the third point? Because you say one, but I'm listen, it's Black History Month. So <laughs> what I also love is um, I just love how much they do for our community. You know, millions has gone into education, uh, health care, providing health care, providing fair wages, you know? I, I mean, mean it sounds like the, the, the real deal. Authentic background and quality ingredients and like helping you guys keep, uh, keep, keep your hair looking great and be seen, right? All right. Well, it's looking amazing. I mean, I think I, I think I would call that one your Sierra unit. Sierra unit. Yeah, like, I think I that's, so that's the vibe she's giving me right there. Yeah. All right, so Nicole, good. you you're finished wrapping. I can see. So where are we at Finish now? Wrapping. And by the way, Nicole, is the scarf optional for that mannequin? The scarf is optional? completely optional. Okay. But you know, I'm fancy, so I gotta put them on my girls. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what's up? Tell tell us what you've been. All right. So I finished wrapping, and what I wanted to show you is that as you look through here there's like no clean partings they're very brick wrapped and also as I went along I did like a brick lay pattern and that's going to help when I'm taking the um rods out and separating the curls and if it's cool I like to switch over and show one of my mannequins that I already finished mm -hmm. all right are like you the, ready? The, the cooking show yeah Bo -bo. The cooking show, the oven. Out and, put one in. and as you can see <laughs> she's fancy too look at this look at this scarf <laughs> This one is fancy. Okay, I so. Think that's Hermes. Say that again? I think that's an Hermes scarf. She's very fancy. Thank you. Yeah. Come through. <laughs> that's how I'm doing. Um, so I've already gone in as because I rip rack and um, brick laid my part as I was separating, it's already halfway done. This is one of the easiest um, protective styles you can do and maintain at home as well. So what I'm going to do guys, as I am going through, there's one really important hot tip I want to share with you, and that's breaking the cap. So anytime you do like a flat wrap or you anything that has a molding agent, you're going to have to break that cast. And what that means is loosen up the product that you put on there. So what I'm doing, I put a little of Pattern Beauty's um, hair serum. This is amazing. It works on so many different hair types because it's super lightweight and it doesn't have that buildup. Um, that you get from a lot of oils. And I'm just going to run my fingers over the curls and stretch them out a little bit. As you go in, you still have some um, product left. Emulsify again. And I just need to rub your hands together and get it warm and go in and separate the curls. So I'm literally just going to go in and separate each curl out. Because I have this serum on my hands, you don't have to worry about creating that grid. One thing you don't want to do is just take your fingers and comb straight through because that mm. can cause some frizz and that's not cute on anybody. Okay, I mean, there's a cute frizz and then there's a frizz that's like, oh no. And we don't want <laughs> to have the oh no. So I'm just going to go through and separate each curl and as you can see, as they're falling, they are gorgeous. And like I said, flexi rods work on all hair types from 2B to 4C. And it's all about the products that you choose that's going to create that smoothness and that shine that you want to create. Another cool thing, Ammon, is I know you love when I wear my hair really big and wild, right? And this is how I create those looks like the rod dress. But the thing is, the longer you wear this, the better it gets. That's so cool. So talk to me a little bit, because as when it comes to protective styles, is this mm -hmm. something that you would do? You could do it on somebody's like on their natural hair, right? Yeah. Does it still count as a protective style if you're doing it on natural hair, or is this something that their hair is pulled away and they're wearing either a wig or extensions, and you do this style, and that's what makes it a protective style, or do both mean protective style? I'll share my opinion. I think protective styles can go for natural hair and or relaxed hair, because okay. when it's tucked up over and protected, it's protected. 
Um, and it's also something that you can wear when you're transitioning, right? Because if you're going from relaxed hair to natural, where that line of natural hair meets relaxed, the hair is super weak and it causes breakage. So this is a great way to tuck that up in a way if you want to grow out and not have that big chop down to like a half an inch of hair um, and allow your hair to grow. So yeah. It, oh, it, that's right. Because you, you, pulled the hair out, you pulled the hair out of the way to begin with before you did your flexor on set. So it's all got it. I got yep. it. I'm with you. That looks so cool. And so now you're just pulling it open. Do you have mm -hmm. a name for this look? I not because I know you. I love following you. Every day is a new look. Every day is a new Nicole. I'm like, what's what's yes. green today? What what are we? Last calling week I did have a new hairstyle. Did I had a different hairstyle? <laughs> yeah, I just when I wear my hair curly like this, I like to call myself Tina because I don't know. I feel like I'm channeling Tina Turner with all her <laughs> badness. And like she yes. when she walks in a room, you like, oh yeah, that's her. And yes. I'm sorry. I'm shameless. Anytime I walk around, my one people be like, "Oh my God, she is so cute." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want? I that? know. <laughs> so, Ammon, is it been cool if I give like some hot tips to talk about maintaining this look? Yeah, please. That's what, this, that's right. what this is about. Let's do it. All right. So, um, how many of us know what a pineapple is, right? I love a cute pineapple. So, a great way uh, for a flexi set to last. And um, when you go to bed, you don't have to worry about the curls getting all crazy. You can take like a satin or a silk scrunchie, pull the hair up on top of your head, and then, you know, put on your bonnet, right? Either if you have a bonnet, make sure that's satin or silk as well. And you can also combo that with a satin or silk pillowcase. I think I heard something about that last week on Unveiling Beauty. <laughs> but um, I'm a person who likes to double up. So I do my bonnet and I also have the um, silk pillowcase because sometimes your bonnet slips off. You're a wild sleeper, but you got that backup there in a um, silk pillowcase. But yeah, that's how you can literally have this last. And then another thing you can do too is let's say you get in the shower and a little steam gets to the hair and you're a natural girl and what happens? Your hair starts getting a little frizzy. You can just take the same mousse or whatever molding agent you use, put a little bit in your hand and um, put a flexi in, go to sleep on it and in the morning, she's good as new. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just take a pick and go in and add more volume to my finished look. You can go like this if you want to, but I'm not a big fan of separation right there. So what I'm gonna do is take my pick and just go in gently and diffuse that by lifting it up. And I'm gonna do that on the top and the bottom. And this is gonna help create and also put some shape into your look. So as you see, I already diffused that. Guess with a couple of um, strokes of the comb. It's amazing and it's magic, but it's really easy. Yeah. I think what I'm noticing too, Nicole, is that you're doing is that that kind of breaks up those like sectioning lines, right? So yeah. when people like are like either doing twist outs, like today earlier I was sharing with you, I did like a band two knot set and you had to use the same, I had to use the same kind of approach where like it's yeah. cool because you get the partings and that's part of like the look one. But then when you take them out, you got to get rid of those partings because that's Absolutely. Cute. That, that you're right. And it's a hot tip for a twist out, a braid out, anything that goes in with parts. Yeah, 100%. I do this even with a wash and go when I wear my hair. I'll take it and I'll just like shape my hair and make it as big as I want or even create like a round or a triangle shape. It's amazing. Very good, very good. All right, so Robin, it looks like your, I mean, your hair is good to go. Looking good right there. Beautiful. Um, so talk to us a little bit more, because I know that you have uh, you have more and more and stuff to, to share with us. So what's up, what's next? You have something more in store for us. Absolutely. So as you've been watching me style my hair, I love that I'm able to use heat on it. This is color treated hair. Um, this I actually hand painted myself. So the same way you would want to take care of and consider your natural color treated hair, you're gonna handle your extensions and your wigs the same way. So I started off with a really good foundation. So I use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. I use the wig and weave collection. I even have it here, the two-in-one 
uh, conditioner and detangler. You literally can see this baby is going down, like I'm using her. Uh, so this is actually one of our products that's going to be launching soon, which I think is a part of your giveaway. Ah, cool. Um, she's good, people. Um, and then I also use the oil shine spray. So I don't have to use a lot, but I use it um, oftentimes before I start curling and even when I'm done just to finish. So what I love, uh, just to even go back to the one of the original questions you asked me is why Shea Moisture, why Wig and Weave, why now? I mean, I just love it because Shea Moisture has been a part of my natural hair care routine for many years now. Um, my shower is loaded with it. And so the fact that I'm wearing more extensions, I'm, I'm uh, you know, using more protecting styling, I don't want to have to use a separate line. And usually when uh, people consider products for wig and weaves, it's loaded with harsh chemicals um, because the, the, the understanding is it's not your hair, so we don't have to care that much. This is an investment, so I care. And so, <laughs> I care. So to look at a product that is using aloe, to look at a product that's using natural shea moisture, um, as far as the ingredient side, then it also means something to me to use a product that is not only uh, giving me high quality ingredients, but they're investing in women. They're investing in the black community. They, you know, like they care before, during and after black history. That matters all the more. Um, and one of the things that uh, just to segue into what we're doing now is uh, Shea Moisture has partnered with Good Mirror which um, is just offering an amazing platform for Black women, for poets. Um, one of the arts just from the test of time for our history has been storytelling. Um, and what I love for us as storytelling is we're passing on not only through uh, our lineage, you know, the legacy of where we come from, but we're able to use our storytelling to educate the world. Mm -hmm. um, it's no surprise that a lot of our history has been withheld. Um, and so what I love is that Shea Moisture is doing their part to stop that. Shea Moisture is doing their part to allow us to share, to allow us to be uplifted and continue to do what we've always done, which is uplift each other. Amazing. That's so amazing. You know what? I, I love hearing that. I love the way that your hair looks. And I know that you have also got a video that you are going to talk to us about, about another way that you can wear one of your girls. So do you want to talk us through that just a little bit as we play that video? First of all, yes to referring her as one of my girls. Yes! <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> listen, listen, the pandemic, I mean, we weren't able to hang out with each other. We weren't able to do a lot of things, but I still had my girls at home with me. I was never alone, <laughs> you know? Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do is just give you a quick demo uh, of another protective style. So it is a U part, which I created, um, I call it a partial luxe unit from my company, The Wig House. And what you do is it's kind of like, it's like a sewing. You have leave out, your hair is braided, but instead of sewing hair onto your braids, which can cause tension, which can cause traction alopecia, it's a U part, so it just clips on. So I show you how I clip it on. Um, and then my leave out doesn't exactly match the texture on my U part. So I show you how with a flexi rod, just like my girl Nicole is using here, I show you um, how I go ahead and blend that. And one of my favorite products that I've been using for a decent amount of time is from the Coconut uh, coconut Hibiscus line, which is their frizz-free uh, mm -hmm. mousse. I love that so much. I think I watched the episode, I think it was last week, where the discussion on mousse was brought up. Mm. And, um, you know, sometimes some of the heavier products like creams can weigh your hair down. Everyone can't handle a cream. And so I use the mousse because I still like my hair really, really light and airy. Um, so the video will walk you through the whole process. 
Love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Extra education, extra information, because it, it all it depends, right? What you're looking for, where you're starting from. Protective style is not a one size fits all. There's options. There's like, you know, there's products. Nicole, that is looking fantastic. I actually, I'll be honest with you. When I saw those silk scarves, I thought it was like, like you were going to be like, and then this is how you tie it up when you go to bed at night. <laughs> oh my God, that is so genius. Why didn't I think about that? Me? Like I was like, she's gonna like go and now this is how you go to bed. Like, I can't get any products on this Hermes scarf. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't be doing that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, no, we no. have pretty she is. Yeah, well done, well done. Looks really, really great. Um, listen, I want to thank the both of you. I want to thank the both of you for, um, obviously I, I opened up by like talking about how special this episode is, yeah. this whole month. Um, we are not going to stop. And it's not just going to be like, you know, Black History Month and then we're moving on. This is just going to like kick us off into into more and more. And um, obviously there's a, there's a desire, there's a need, and there's finally this place in the world, in my opinion, where um, everybody, wants to learn, wants to more, wants to know more and wants to understand not only how, but the culture behind it. And you guys both represented that in what I would say a very, very amazing way. Um, both beautiful women, both full of knowledge, both great, um, great um, educational tips for the professionals, but also for the people at home who are just trying to make their hair look good, even if it's, you know, at a Zoom party or something. So thank you guys so much for your passion and for sharing everything that you have with us today. Thank you so much, Anna, for having me. Absolutely. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye. Hey guys, so now we're at one of my favorite parts of the Unveiling Beauty Show where we get to spotlight an organization or a, a, an artist out there in the world that is really just so deserving. And since it's Black History Month, the organization that we are spotlighting today is called the Make It Black Initiative. Um, here at Ulta Beauty, we have participated in the Make It Black campaign. Um, and the goal of this campaign is to shift perceptions about what it means to be black and to raise funds for black owned businesses and grants to emerging black founders to connect with mentorship. Um, when you buy a Make It Black product at Ulta Beauty, like Briogeo or ColourPop, Maybelline, Morphe, I mean, the list goes on and on. 100% of the proceeds support emerging black founders. So get out there and be part of the Make It Black campaign. That's it for our episode today. Don't forget, tomorrow night, those special products from Shea Moisture are gonna be given away on our Instagram. And if you wanna see some past episodes of Unveiling Beauty, don't forget to visit us on, on Instagram at unveilingbeauty.show or our Ulta Beauty YouTube channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon.